Hey everyone, uh, my name is Kelvin and welcome to my uh, video tutorial for the Moon Phase Poster Creator. Uh, this is a little template for Photoshop that lets you create a little representation of the moon on any phase uh, and it gives you some options for layout, for texture, and for some custom text. And uh, the first thing you should do is download the uh, product file itself. It's going to be a zip folder, so unzip it and inside you'll find a folder, a Photoshop document, and then a little readme file. And uh, right now this uh, folder is pretty much empty except it does have the A4 version which also works as the A2 version or the A3 version of the poster creator. But in the future if I update this product or add any extra things I'll put them in that folder. Uh, the next file here is a Photoshop document and this is the 8x10 version of the poster creator. And uh, we're going to open that up in a minute in Photoshop. But this uh, last file here is the README. And this has links to this tutorial video. Uh, it has uh, my email address, just in case you have any questions or comments. And it also has a link to the uh, website that I find really useful when I want to see the moon phase for a certain date. Uh, and it also covers the different hemispheres of the Earth and all that. So I'll go over that uh, later in the video. And I'll also link this uh, website that I'm using uh, in the description of this video. So to start making a poster, I'm going to open up the 8x10 poster creator in Photoshop. So I'm just going to double click it. So when we open it up, uh, at first it's going to look just like this, like a mock-up basically. And uh, the poster creator itself is inside the mock-up. And uh, you can find that by opening the layers panel. And at the very top layer over here is a smart object. And if you double click this little page icon here, it'll open up another document tab. So I'm going to double click this. So here's the poster creator, the poster template. And uh, over here we had the mock-up. And when I opened up this smart object, it gave me another tab up here in Photoshop. And uh, this is where we're actually going to make the poster itself. So the next thing you want to do is customize the moon phase. And uh, you can do that at the very top smart object in this document. So again, double click the little page and it'll take you to the moon options. And uh, we want to set this moon phase for a certain date. Uh, and that's what all these different masks are for up here. If you click a mask and make sure that that folder is visible, you can use the Move tool and just click anywhere and move the mask around and it'll move the uh, shadow on the moon. And that's why there's three different uh, folders here because there's three different moon shadows. And to uh, decide which one we want to use, uh, we need to find out what the moon looked like on this uh, specific date that this poster is going to be for. So I'm going to go to my browser here and go to that website. Okay, here's what that uh, link takes you to. And uh, you can enter in uh, the month and the year. In this case, it's going to be 2017, December. Once you have all of these dates and locations set, just click Go. And for the whole world, uh, on any day, on any date, the moon is going to have the same phase, actually. It just goes around the world, uh, and it's going to show the same phase everywhere in the world. So let's look here. I want it to be for December 7th. 2017, so that's this one here. So you can see most of the moon is lit, but it's maybe a good sliver of it is covered up. So I'll go over to Photoshop and sort of replicate that. So it looks like this is the right one I need. Whereas if I turn this one on, it's where it's kind of out like that. Uh, in this case, this is the one I want to use. So I'll move that over just a little bit more. Okay, that's about right. I'll go back to my browser and just double check it. Okay, that's pretty good. And uh, now down here, once you're happy with the phase, you can go down here and actually choose which moon you want to use. You can also just drop in your own moon uh, graphic if you happen to have it. Just make sure the background is transparent. I really like this one. It's kind of salty watercolor kind of a texture here. So I'm happy with this. I'm happy with the way the moon phase is. So what I'm going to do is go up here to the document tab and I'm going to X out of it. And it's going to ask me if I want to save and I'll do save. And then because it's a smart object, it's going to go back to the uh, tab we were in before and update the moon in the poster. So here's what it looks like when we've got the, uh, the new moon applied here. And uh, over here in the layers panel, you've got a lot of options. And usually the ones that are titled on off are pretty self-explanatory. You just need to you know, enable them or disable them and they'll make a small change to the poster. Uh, for example, the darker moon, if I turn that off, it just gives us a screened moon. But when I turn on darker moon, it darkens everything up. And if you want to even make it more darker, you can select the darker moon folder and just raise the uh, opacity here. And uh, the more you raise it, the darker it'll get. 
Now you might want to customize the color of the poster, so you can go down here to custom color options and open that folder up. All the folders labeled options, uh, they can be opened up and uh, they'll have some choices inside of that folder. So here's the custom color picker and if I double click this little colored box here, it'll give me a color picker and uh, I can just pick any color I want. I think I'm going to go for a bit of a darker color in this poster, kind of a cool dark color. There we go. And I'll do OK. Now going further down here, I can turn on some other options like the galaxy option or the sponge texture option. Uh, I think I'll keep, I like the sponge texture, I'll keep that one on. Uh, this other option down here, invert layout. Uh, this is, what it does is it just flips everything. So when I turn it on, it gives us a border with the color and the text colored. And if I turn that off, it flips it around. So this is white and the text is white. And that'll make more of a difference when you start messing with the poster border options and the background options. So these are options folders, so when you open them up, they'll give you some choices. So the poster border option, that's this edge design here. You can go through here and choose a different edge if you want to. Rounded edge, an offset edge, any of those. And if you decide to use the invert option, you'll see a little easier what it does. It just flips the pattern around. I think I'll keep that off for now and just choose I think the regular border is fine and uh, when I'm when I'm happy with my choice here I'm gonna minimize this folder just to keep it organized and I'll go down a bit further to background options now this one is turned off by default but if you turn it on it'll give you this automatic choice here where you have this empty space at the bottom but it's an options folder again so if you open it up and scroll down a bit you'll see you have some choices you can make here so if th this one is called square box this one and if I turn that off, I can choose another one like this, one, one like that. And in this case, you'll get a, a much different effect if you did the invert like that. I'll, tur I'll turn it back there. I think I want to choose, I think I like the square box option. That's fine. So I'm happy with this choice, so I'll go ahead and minimize it. And uh, the last folder here is the text options folder. And uh, this has three lines of text by default, uh, one, two, and three. But you can add more if you want, or just delete it if you don't want it. Maybe you just want a simpler poster. And this is where you'd you know, put the personal message. Uh, you can put the location, the date down here, uh, the longitude and latitude if you want to. But uh, the actual moon phase, it's not dependent on being on an exact place on the Earth. Because every day on the Earth, everybody in the world gets the same moon phase. So I think I'm happy with this text. That's fine. I'm just going to change the date. So I'll double click the little T to edit the text. And this is an important thing with Photoshop is it's, it's not as easy to use when it comes to text as Illustrator or some other programs. The only way to edit text is by highlighting it. And when it's highlighted, it's going to be black. If it's not highlighted, it's not editable. So it'll do that automatically if you just double click the T and then you can just start typing. So in this case, I double click the T and I'll try to go down here and I'm going to clear out the longitude and latitude. I'm not going to use that for this poster. I'm going to instead add the uh, location here. Okay, and then I'll change the date. Okay, that looks perfect. Just double check it for any spelling mistakes there. That looks great. Okay. When I'm done editing the text, I can just click any other layer and it will just deselect it all. Now, if you want to uh, change this one up here, again, just double click the T. It'll automatically select the text, and you can just go ahead and type in whatever you want. Uh, you can also change the font, too. So while this is highlighted black, you can go up here and uh, choose another font if you want to. Sometimes when you choose a font, the scale will be different, like too small. Like in this, this case, I feel like it's kind of small. If you want to scale up a font, you can obviously increase the point size or you can just select that layer and then go up here to uh, file or edit transform free transform there we go and uh, if you hold the constrain keystroke here it'll just kind of scale up kind of symmetrically then you can move it around using the arrow keys and this is a bit easier than just like changing the point size to be a little bit bigger but when you're happy with the way it looks just press enter now all this text is set to be white color uh, I don't recommend changing that because the white color is necessary for all of these filters to work so just leave the color alone uh, if you want to change the color of the text you have to do that up here with the uh, custom color picker and then you can choose a color that way and you'll see the text does change I'm happy with the text option so I'll minimize it 
Now, if you want to export this poster, export it from this document. And the best way to do that, I think, is with the Save for Web dialog. And I know it's called Save for Web, but it's, it works fine for print. It just gives you some other options that, that won't be necessary. But you can find that by going up to File, and then Export, and then Save for Web. And this will let you save pretty easily just a JPEG image. So you can see these dimensions are humongous. Um, let's see here. Make sure it's set to JPEG. Uh, and you can just save this as it is, just to your desktop, and then send that file to your printer. Make sure the quality isn't compressed too much, but you could probably get away with 50% quality and not notice a difference at all. But any lower than that, I don't recommend it. But just save this to your desktop and print from that file. But uh, if you have any problems with this, you can always go in here and enter the exact dimensions you need. Like this, this is a uh, 16 by 20 size at 300 dpi. But if you want, you can change this to 2400 pixels by 3000 pixels, and that's the uh, 8 by 10 at 300 dpi. But usually uh, that you won't have to change any of that. Your printer can figure this out. If you just send this file to your printer, it'll print, it'll print totally fine. Uh, I'm not going to save this one. I'm going to cancel it here. Now, if you want to use the uh, mock-up, uh, you just have to close and save the smart object. So just go up to the document tab and then X out again, just like before. But make sure when it asks if you want to save, you click save. And uh, this will take a minute to load, but it'll place this poster we built here uh, in the mock-up. So here's what it looks like in the mock-up. And uh, if you want to use this on your Etsy page or your Pinterest page or Instagram, uh, you can do uh, the export and save for web just like before. And uh, you'll notice this image is quite a bit smaller. So you can go to file, export and then save for web. And uh, it'll give you the same dialog, but this image is pretty small. And that's a fine size for Etsy. That's a fine size for uh, Instagram, Pinterest, and stuff. You won't really have to mess with that. Quality's fine. And again, you just save this to your desktop and uh, then upload it to whatever uh, marketing site you want to use. But in this case, I won't save it. I'll cancel it here. So hopefully, this is a pretty good overview of how you can use this poster creator. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, the best way to reach me is my email address. Just send me an email. And I put my email address in the readme uh, text file that came with this product. And uh, I can usually get back to you probably within 12 hours, uh, sometimes much sooner. But uh, other than that, guys, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.